Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Andrew McGrath. I'm a professional magician and cardist, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the cardistry moves as seen in the game Fortnite. Cardistry is a really cool art form involving one deck of playing cards that's been spreading all around the world. It's something that uh, a lot of people have been starting to do. It's almost what my whole channel is about. I have a lot of cardistry videos, tutorials, and stuff like that. Feel free to check it out. So go grab your deck of cards and let's get into this tutorial. In the game, your character takes the cards and shuffles them just like this. Takes one playing card, shoots it to the other hand, does what is called a spring, and then a move called anaconda and then springs the card over his head like that. Now before you say Andrew that's not how you do the moves in the game. In the game the moves are exaggerated a little bit like shooting the cards from hand to hand this far apart or just simply shooting the cards over your head. It does not work like that but you can still do it close like I just showed you. All the moves shown in the game are real cardistry moves just can't do them as exaggerated as the game. So pretty much any deck will work for this besides plastic cards or maybe those cheaper cards you get at a gift shop but just get yourself some bicycles or the tally hose like these. Now just know a lot of these moves are going to be very hard to learn and I'm going to be teaching a lot in this short video so you can check out the full tutorials for these moves linked in the description. The first move shown is an overhand shuffle which looks just like this and it's an incredibly easy move. All you have to do is hold the deck in your hands like this for either hand. You're going to be placing your thumb on the back in the middle like so, your ring and middle finger along the front like this, either higher or lower in the middle like I do it. You can place your index on the front but I prefer it on the back to give a little bit of support. You're just going to bring your other hand around and start dragging off with your thumb and catching the packets like this with your other fingers. You can just practice dragging them off one at a time like this or doing several. It's a very, very simple move just dragging cards off. Then what you're going to do is the card shot shown which takes one playing card. The card shot is a move called flicker and I also had came up with it before I knew about flicker and called it the pinch aerial cardistry move. There's a full tutorial on it. It's pretty much the same thing. Check it out right up here and learn it in great detail. You're going to place a card like this, grab it on the corners with your middle and thumb just like this. You're going to bow it up slightly with your index finger and start to bow it like this creating a little bit of pressure until you release it from your thumb shooting the card to the other hand like this. This will take a lot of work to get the angle of it, the balance and the direction and everything like this. How much to bow it, uh, when to release, which way to aim it, how level to have it, but eventually you'll be shooting them just like that. That's the flicker shot. Next move, the spring. What you're going to do is take the top right corner of the deck, if you're right-handed, and place it between your ring and pinky just like this, or up in this grip uh, between these fingers with your middle finger on the top corner and these fingers on the sides of it supporting, and your pinky can just be here or down here on the deck. For either way you hold it, the mechanics are the same. You're going to apply pressure with your thumb along the edge like this, about that much of your thumb hanging off on the corner just like that. You're going to apply pressure and then slowly release that pressure with your thumb while pressing from the bottom. And so you'll see my thumb change its position. It goes from here and then at the end, you can see my thumb kind of spreads out. Just like that. So here's from the back view. So you're grabbing it, placing it in there, putting your thumb there, squeezing and the other cards start to come off. Just like that. Now again, like I said, these moves are going to take a long time to learn and I'm teaching a lot in this short video so be sure to check out the full tutorials for all these moves in the description and that way you'll be able to really master them. The last move you're going to learn is the anaconda which looks like that where you're dropping the cards one by one and spreading your hands apart and slapping them all back together just like that. What you're going to do is place your fingers either left hand or right whichever one you want. I'm right handed so I'm going to do it in my right hand. You're going to place your first three fingers across the front like this with a little bit overlapping. So I have my middle and ring and pinky on the sides like this with a little gap between my uh, ring and pinky finger. Pinky is on the corner. Index finger goes across the front like this at an angle and kind of bows down on the top. See how you can press it like this. So if you pull up with your thumb and push down with your index, you create a little bit of a bow. The thumb is going to go across the back of the deck just like this. 
placed like that, not all the way across flat like this, with a little bit of the back showing right there. Uh, and your thumb is hanging off this much, as you can see. Uh, it's like that from the bottom. You're gonna start to bow with your index and the thumb, and slowly, one by one, you can practice releasing cards just like that. So one by one, just practice releasing cards. Just keep working at it till you get a nice flow with the deck like that, and then start spreading your hands apart, and more, and more, until you're doing really, really big ones, more like you see in the game. It's definitely a move that can take a very long time to learn, and it took me a long time to learn it, so don't get discouraged. In the last part of the emote, your character does another spring, just like I showed you, but he does it above the head. What you're gonna be doing is doing the spring, just start practicing moving your hands as you do it like this. You can start practicing by bringing your right hand away a little bit more and then following it with your other hand to catch them all so the cards kind of float there for a little bit and then grab them just like that. So then when you've got that motion down of doing that, start working on bringing it higher and doing it longer so you can start down here, finish over here, or just do a short one like that. or. A longer one or you can keep going as much as you want just like that like I said these moves are gonna take a long time to learn but don't get discouraged every time you drop your cards pick them up and try again I took a long time to learn these moves but it's definitely worth it and remember I'm teaching so many moves in this short video you definitely want to check out the full tutorial for each one if you like this video please be sure to drop a like and subscribe and share this video with all your other Fortnite squad members and I'm sure they would love to learn it as well. If you're new to cardistry, there is so many more moves you can do and so many different styles of cardistry. I should be playing a couple videos right now of different things you can do. It's really a very, uh, very large art form with all different styles. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's super easy. Almost everyone's got a deck of cards lying around their house somewhere and so anyone can really pick it up as long as you're watching YouTube. However you're watching this, you can search Cardistry Tutorial just like you found this one. It's a lot of fun, super easy, pretty cheap, uh, so why not do it? All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you want to see more stuff like this, be sure to check out my channel, subscribe, and hit that like button, and share it with a friend who you think might be interested. All right, everyone, with that, I will say goodbye, and God bless.